Hello, my name is Andrea. This is Verbling.com, and this is an advanced level English class where we will be doing role play. You will get to work on having spontaneous conversations with other people, and you will work on being more fluent and sounding more natural when you talk. So if you have a ticket, you may join. Again, my name is Andrea, and this is Verbling.com, and this is an advanced level English class where we will be doing role play. Good morning, Michael. Yes, hi. Hi, how are you? Not too bad, how are you? Doing well. Day two of electricity in my house. Very excited. But we'll stay the same. We'll be I the hope same. so. Yeah. It should be okay. They're still doing, there's some massive construction pro project down the street in my neighborhood, so I think that's still going on. So we'll see if I keep my power for this week. <laughs> Did you watch uh, the video that I uh, put in the chat? Like, Are you about... talking about the Snuggy one? Yeah, yeah, Snuggy. Yes, <laughs> that was hilarious. I haven't seen that one before. Well, we need to do in class uh, that one. I, I don't know if we like can he... do that one. What the... <laughs> then he said, like, uh, you need yeah. a lantern uh, to read in uh, daylight? <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't think the language in that one will be too good for verbling, but yeah, you can, can just tell people about it, like, oh, on your own you can watch this parody of the spoof of the Snuggie commercial. They have a lot of other funny things that make fun of infomercials. Um, there's a, one where they just make fun of people, like at the beginning of the commercial, they're like showing people that are always messing up stuff, like um, if someone opens their wallet and all the cards fall out, and mm -hmm. it's like, Do you, are you really bad at life? <laughs> Where this uh, you watched? Where did you watch this? Uh, I think it's from the U.S. It it makes fun of American infomercials. Oh, but what's the name or uh, what? Did I you don't play? remember. Oh, I okay. just I just remember that there's a video that makes fun of infomercials. It makes fun of the beginning of the infomercial where it's like you know with the snuggie. It's like you can't even put a blanket on stuff like that. Like, are you really bad at really easy things? It's it's, it's really going funny. to ruin your life. Let your yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Really, really funny. <laughs> All right, Carmen. Morning. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Michael. How are you doing? Hi, Carmen. Carmen. I'm just doing fine, thank you. Good, good. So this is uh, more role play. I wrote some more role plays, and I'm just making, I'm compiling a big word document full of role plays. So we have some brand new ones today. And when we have more people, we'll start. I think we have about six people that bought tickets, so that will be good. It's good to have an even number. And then if we have an odd number, then somebody gets to do role play with me. <laughs> It'll be fun. So all of the role plays today have to do with conflicts. So there's a problem between two people. But it's not the same as, like, if you go to a restaurant and they get your order wrong, and then you say, oh, you messed up my food, I need new food. Usually that conversation ends very quickly because they say, oh, we're sorry, that's our fault. And then they give you a new dish, they give you a new, new, um, they give you new food. Um, and these, both people in the conflict have things that they're doing right and things they're doing wrong. So it's not like one person makes a mistake and then they fix the problem really quickly. Each person has something that adds to the problem. So we'll be doing that, but <clears throat> I think that makes it more interesting and then it, it allows you to talk more in your role play. And it's more like real life, too. So um, I have this in a document. You can put this into the Burbling chat box. There we go. And then I'll also put it on the screen, but we just have to wait for some more people to show up. So, Carmen, what did you do yesterday? Well, just today, I tried to, I think it was just, you know, it was on Monday. Monday, I tried to join your classes in the morning. but oh, you did? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had some trouble, so I was with yeah. Yuki and Vincenzo. We were just having a chat there. Oh, you made your own chat? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was nice, yeah. I think. Yes. And then I received a message from Berbling telling me that you had a, a how do you call that, not power? Power outage. Yeah, yeah I had a power outage. outage. So, yes, they turned off the electricity on my street and also some other streets in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I live in a city, though, too, so it's not like it's just, I mean, I'm like out in the middle of nowhere. But mm -hmm. I, I'm, my, neighbor, uh, my neighbor and I both lost our power. 
and we didn't know about it. And so we were calling the power company, and I called the power company, and they told me, oh, yes, you will not have power today. And I said, were you going to tell me? <laughs> you know, and so as I was talking to them, and um, they told me that they were supposed to send a letter to me explaining that my neighbor and I share a mailbox. Like, we have the same door, and you put mail in the slot. And we didn't get it. We, neither of us got a letter. So we were very mad because mm -hmm. I can do, I can work with it if I know when the power outage is going to yeah, be. I have, okay. I have a place Absolutely. I can go, but yeah. if I'm at home, then I can't yeah. do anything. Yeah, out of the blue, that's so. it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You didn't so. get any notice before, okay. No. no. I mean, it's okay that you cannot, you cannot do anything about it. I mean, it can happen no. to everyone, so. Yeah. Andrea, but, but do you know you can buy, like, uh, a laptop that can uh, uh, work about 7, 10 hours. Oh, uh, really? From 7 to 12 hours. So, uh, okay. the medium is 10 hours, like, and if you have this problem, you kind of, uh, 10 hours, you can okay. work with your laptop. Yeah, my laptop actually has a pretty good battery, but the problem was that, um, our internet router runs on electricity, so oh. I could get my computer to work. My computer would have been fine through all the lessons, but yeah. the internet in our building wasn't going to work because that had to be connected to yeah. the electricity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So I ended up going to a music school in town, and I went into a practice room, and I was in this little room with a piano, and I did my afternoon classes there. <laughs> but you so. say internet router in your apartment or where? Yeah. Yeah, but you can connect it uh, without router. Like when you don't have electricity, you can connect uh, directly to computer without mm -hmm. router. Oh, really? Sure. Okay. Okay. I cannot do it here either. I don't know I how to do electricity. that. Yeah, my router needs electricity to, to run. How do you yeah. do it, Michael? But you remove the cable that comes from internet company and you plug in your computer. But you need like uh, oh. to ask uh, the settings from the okay. your company, like send me the settings for the oh. the internet. Okay. Like I'm uh, maybe what? I'm usually at those. I don't know how to do that. I thought it was the router just works with the electricity. So I don't know how to do what you're telling yeah, me. Yeah, I think yeah. So I I know what you're saying. Like you just take the cable and plug it directly yeah. into your computer. Did you? Yeah. But maybe you need settings from your internet maybe. company. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know how that works. So call yeah, your so internet company. They will okay. uh, help you because okay. uh, for for example, my company they are very helpful. They help me every time. I have okay. A problem. Okay. I have um I have low expectations for Dutch companies to be honest. <laughs> Their customer service here is not so good, but that's something I could try though. No, but the thing yeah. is, if you've got a notice before that, I mean, you just can yeah. take your your classes. I mean, it's it's not that's something that comes out of the blue that you don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. I told them, I wrote them an angry letter. I wrote my first angry letter in Dutch, yes, uh, a few <laughs> days ago. And I told them I work on the internet and I I have to have the internet to survive. And you didn't tell me, so we'll see if they respond. I so far I have not gotten a response from them. But that doesn't happen very often. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, so I got some I got some good Dutch practice on Monday, <laughs> making a complaint and then writing a letter also. So that's I guess that's the good part of that. I got some good practice. Okay, uh, and we have um, Isa or Isa. I'm not sure how to say your name. Hi. He's mute, I think. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, uh, make sure your microphone is on when you want to talk. Um, and I'm glad that you're here. So if you are able to, if your sound is working, you can turn on your microphone and say hi. Oh, okay, or not. Maybe he'll come back. Hey, Yuki. Hello again. How are you doing? Uh, uh, fine, thank you. <laughs> Good. Okay, we'll see if maybe this works now. Um, Isa, are you there? Or Isa, not sure how to pronounce your name. So. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How do you say your name? Isa. Isa. Okay, I can do that. I'm good with that. Okay, <laughs> good. Isa. And Isa, where are you from? I'm Nigerian, living Nigerian. in Nigeria. Okay, good. I have a friend from Nigeria here in the Netherlands. We have um, a lot of, I, I go to a church where there are a lot of African people and there are a lot of people from Nigeria in there, Nigeria in my church. Yeah. yeah. That's Great. Good. 
glad you're here. And Thank you. um, we're doing some role play today. I have some situations where two people have a problem with each other, but um, with each person there is something that they are doing right and something they are doing wrong, or maybe they're with each person there is something that they can't do anything about. So we will be doing that, some kind of conflict resolution in our in our role plays today, and um, it'll really help you to become more spontaneous. We will look at the situations and talk about them, and then um, each role play is for two people. So now we have an even number, and we can get started with them. Um, so you'll get you'll have a partner that you role play with, and then afterwards I'll tell you different ways to say things so that it sounds a little bit more natural. So I have an document. The document is in the Verbling chat, and I will also put it on the screen. In the document, we have um, role plays that are numbered. So we have role play one, role play two. Um, last week, we did one and two. I think, Michael, you were there for that one. So we will be starting on role play three today. So don't start at the beginning of the document. Role play three, which is what we will start with, is about a teacher and a parent. So we call that when a teacher and a parent talk to each other, we call that a parent-teacher conference. In the U.S., they are very common. If you have a problem, if you're a teacher and you have a problem with one of your students, and you are teaching maybe at a primary or secondary school, so not, not like university level, um, but for younger students, if you have a problem, sometimes it's always good to let the parent know and have a meeting. So this is the setting of this, a parent-teacher conference. And Carmen, can you please read person A for this? Okay. You're a teacher at a secondary school, and you have a student who always gives you a hard time. He, he ignores your instructions, argues with you, and talks to the people around you when you are trying to teach. You are concerned because his grades are getting worse, and you worry that he's also becoming a bad influence on his peers. You, got, you call his parents. Maybe they can help you find a solution. Okay, so person A is the teacher. Uh, they have a student who ignores instructions. What is, can someone give me another wording for to ignore instructions? What does that mean? Do not so respect. Like. Respect, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't respect the instructions, like a teacher tells you to do something and you just don't do it. Or um, not paying attention. Yeah, not paying attention, yes. So, yeah, they're just, they, they are not listening to the instructions, they're not paying attention. Those are other words that you can use if you are playing person A, the teacher. Hey, Vincenzo. Hi, teacher. Hi. Yeah, um, Good to see you. A bit late, but... That's okay. Uh, Always with you. Always with you. Okay. That's okay. We're just starting with our first role play situation. Uh, Andrea, I have a question. Uh huh. Uh, so in this sentence, and talks to the people around you when you are trying to teach. So um, maybe uh, would be better you are teaching. When yes. Teaching. Let's do. Sorry. Let's do. Make this more specific around him. So say that he's sitting in a class in a chair and there are people sitting next to him and so he's talking to those people. No, no, I mean, uh, look, uh, uh, when you are trying to teach, so um, talks to people, to the people around him mm -hmm. when you are teaching. Not, uh, mm -hmm. It's not better when you are teaching. <laughs> it could be, yeah. The pro the, here what I'm saying is you are trying to give instructions. So you want to teach your class uh -huh. but because he is talking so much, you are having a hard time doing that. So you are trying to teach, mm -hmm. but you have a problem. So maybe you you are teaching, you are attempting to give instructions. He's always interrupting because he's talking. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yeah. So sometimes if there's a teacher and they're getting really frustrating, if they're very frustrated, maybe a student is behaving very badly, they'll say, I'm trying to teach you right now. They are teaching, but they're that they they're saying that in a way that like okay. I'm not successful with this because you are mm. being bad. Okay, um, you're concerned, you're worried. His grades are getting worse, so he's not doing well. Probably because he's ignoring your instructions here, and talking in class. And uh, what does it mean to become a bad influence on your peers? Bad example. Yeah, bad example. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes. 
What what does it mean to influence somebody? Influence it. Something that disturbs you. Not quite. Influence, yeah, in this case, in the, the bad way, no? In a bad way. Yes, if you influence somebody, um, it can it does not mean good or bad with the word influence on its own on its own. Um, if somebody I can influence you guys to work on your English. I can cause you to to want to work on your English. So somebody can be a good influence, somebody can be a bad influence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're a bad influence, maybe um, his peers, oh. the people around him, maybe they are normally good students, but because they see the example of this bad student, he's a bad influence. They're, he's causing them to also start to misbehave as well. So you decide to call the parents, and maybe they can help you. So, um, Isa, please read person B description here. I'm trying to open this, but I can't. I don't know why. Really? Okay. Can you read it on my screen? I hope so. Okay. I can make it bigger also, if you want. No, it's, it's, it's okay, but the, sometimes the um, it's uh, just been a little bit not unclear when you were reading, but I will, I will try to read it. Okay. So, uh, B, you are a, a parent of a of second of second school age boy. He has a learning dis disability. 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 Okay, and uh, it is difficult for him to concentrate. Because uh, of this, he gets frosted in school. He tried to help him. Uh, you tried to help him with this homework, but he's too disagreeable. Disagreeable. Disagreeable and uh, difficult to work with. <coughs> Usually, you. You end up just listen to him do what whatever he wants at home. You feel bad about this, but don't know what else to do. The phone rings. Okay, thank you. So this is the parent of this boy. Um, he has a learning disability. Can someone tell me what a learning disability is? Or maybe an example of a learning disability. There are different kinds. Cannot concentrate on yeah. something. Yeah, we call that attention deficit disorder. It's a handicap. Yeah. <laughs> With the studying uh, concentrated. So. Yeah, so maybe he has ADD. That is a very popular disorder in the US. Um, I can do a whole class about it. I don't agree with all of it, but <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a learn, they call it a learning disability where you can't pay attention. Some people's brains are like that. I think some people are just saying that they have ADD as an excuse, but that's another class. I'll do a class on that this week. <laughs> um, so he, yeah, he has a learning disability. It's just something about his brain and his mind. He can't process information as well, so it's hard for him to focus, to pay attention, concentrate. So he's very frustrated. It's um and it's a teacher for these students, these students or not? Sometimes. Some schools have a teacher they call it a special ed teacher. Yeah. Teacher that's that teaches kids with disabilities. Some schools do not. Some schools just have one teacher. So here pretend like this is a school where there's not a special class. It's just yeah. this kid is in the regular class with everybody else. So as a parent, you're trying to help him at home. You want to help him with his homework. But he's very, very difficult to work with. So maybe he's he complains a lot. Or maybe he gets really upset when you are trying to work on homework. So you kind of have you have kind of given up. You now you just let him do what he wants. And you don't think that's right. You think you feel bad about it. You wish that you could do something else, but you really don't know what to do. So you are a parent, you know there is something wrong with your child, you are trying to help them, but you don't know how. You don't know how to help your kid. So if you are, this is a telephone conversation actually, so if you are person A, if you are the teacher 
you will be calling the parent, but if you are the parent, you will talk first. You will answer the phone and say hello. Um, any questions over this situation before we get started? Hmm? No? Okay. What Can I have a volunteer to be the teacher, person A? I would like to be the teacher. Okay, Vincenzo, you are the parent. It's Good. A difficult, difficult situation. Yes, it is a difficult situation, but it is a very common situation nowadays. Um, can someone be the teacher? I'd like a volunteer, or I will just pick someone. It's, it's better for you to pick. Okay, Yuki, you're the teacher. Oh, yeah, Yuki is the teacher. Me? Yes. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> Everyone has to go today. Eh, not to be gentle. I, I'll be a teacher. Yes, you are the teacher. <laughs> Vincenzo is the parent. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Vincent will be parents. Yes, he's the parent. You're the teacher. Oh. <laughs> parent, parent, uh. difficult child. You are the teacher that they are, they are disturbed from this child because you can teach to him. Um. Okay, so uh, Vincenzo, you're the parent, so you have to start. You have to talk first. You answer the phone. Yes, but uh, the phone ring. Oh, hello, we speaking. Hello, uh, it is the uh, uh, what is the name of a student? Uh, you pick. It is uh, I. Vincenzo Junior. Uh, Vincenzo Junior. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I did. Uh, <laughs> is that the uh, uh, Vincenzo Junior at home? I don't know what to, what to say. Yes, you, you are calling Vincenzo at home. So you say, hello, Vincenzo, this is your teacher. This is your son's teacher. Yes. How, ca how can teacher. I say, uh, 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 teacher, how can I say, uh, in the first of the telephone, I'd like to confirm the, that home is Vincenzo, Vincenzo the Junior's home or not. OK, you can say, is this? It's this. Vincenzo Jr.'s home. Ah, okay. Hello. Uh, is this, is this Vincenzo Jr.'s home? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a teacher of Vincenzo Jr. Ah, okay. So, yes, yes, no, no, it, it's not. Uh, not? It's Sorry Vincenzo for. Vincenzo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call. No. It's Vincenzo. I'm sorry it's for. Wrong the number. Vincenzo Jr.'s father. <laughs> Are you a father? Yes. Are you father of Vincent, Vincent yes. Junior? I am the father, yes. Oh. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, that's good. How are you? Uh, 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 nice, to, nice to meet you. Oh, okay, I don't know. Uh. <laughs> okay, so start talking about Vincenzo Junior. Nice, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. uh, sorry, I have a... Uh, can you share the, uh, some time for me? I'd like to talk to you something. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I, yes. Uh, no, please tell me, please. What, what's about? It is regarding regarding your your son. Yes. Uh, yes what's about my son? What did you say? What's about my son? Yes, it is about your son. Uh, uh, to say the truth. Uh, we have uh, difficulties with your son. Uh, okay. He recent. Is sorry. Is I don't. I don't understand. What? What's We happening? have difficulties with your son. Yes. Uh, he recently he yes. ignores uh, instructions, and in, in the time of re lesson, he uh, he talked to other students. And he don't hear the lecture, so we can't we can't con uh, students in the class cannot concentrate on the class. I I I'd like to ask you help uh, to cope with the situation. Yes, yes, I know, Matt. But you know that, that she has some pro that he has some problem problems. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you. So you have to treat him in a, in a kind way because he has a, a, dis, a disability in 
he is going uh, he can learn very well and uh, has also difficulties in concentrating you understand me it's a particular I... child okay a it means boy okay it means that you already aware of the problem yeah? Yes, but I think that, that also you are aware of this problem because uh, 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 because uh, uh, he tried to learn but has some difficulties because of his uh, health, his uh, problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tried to to help him, but you know, it's also also for me it's difficult. It's very uh, frustrating. And I'm trying to help him in with his own work, but it's very difficult. So we have to manage very uh, kindly in a in a kind manner. You understand me? I understand how hard you you are uh, with your son. I think, but I think uh, parents. Uh, play a play a uh, important role with education or, uh, yes, of I, their I I said, I, I also children. Told you, I tried, I tried every day to teach him in order to learn and making homework, but I I don't succeed in doing that. That's the problem also for me. And, I Is don't it? know what to do. Do you understand me? Yeah. So we, we can find together a solution to this fact. Uh, you, you, do you think it is a pro problem for you? I yeah. think it, it is important now you yeah. to talk to him uh, because he, uh, you are the only one he can trust. So you uh, can you have a time uh, to talk with him uh, in person? Yes, but I always doing that. Always doing that. What can I do? What can I do? I don't. I can't do nothing about this. About that. So I think that also the the school can, uh, must find the solution to this. Mm -hmm. I I understand, but I also uh, make every effort to uh, for him to concentrate to to the lecture, and I I and I other students uh, try to help him to catch up with the with with the le with the less with with the class, but he 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 want to hear us. Uh, so I called you and I'd like to ask for help. Yes, but... How do you think, what what do we do for him? Yes, what I, improve what, his I have, study? What, what I have in mind is that it can, it can be, it could be a, a specialist, specialist of the school, the school, some psychologists that can help him in doing this. Don't you have uh, a tutor for in this case? Do you think it's the best way to consult, to, to, solve, the, to solve the problem uh, with the help of a specialist? Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. with a uh, psychologist? Yes, something, some, someone that is specialized in order to solve a problem at school, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like a psychologist. Oh, I think it is a good idea. Uh, I know that some uh, some good si psychologist. So you can you can consult with <coughs> with them. I'll 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 teach you uh, the number of the, them. You can call them. Okay. Yes, but at school, I mean, yes. About uh, he has he has also he has already a psychologist in, uh, in for, for the for him, but I mean I mean for at school. You understand me? 
I don't understand. Sorry, you already consulted with a psychologist, yeah? Yeah, you already have a, a psychologist that follow him. It it it, it was it was no use uh, consulting with. Do you think it was no use to no, consult no. consult? Why are you, why are you no sorry, use? can I finish my? Why are you my speech? I, no use. It. It's because <laughs> we are trying to to help him. Why are you saying it's no use? <laughs> I can't continue. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, that's a that's a good stopping point. Um, oh. we let's pretend like there oh, okay, there is uh, not okay, a psychologist Vincent, yet. Okay, Vincent, uh, would you would would you would you kindly come to uh, uh, come to school and we can we we can we can discuss about 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 the problem uh, yeah. together yes, in yes. person. Okay. Yes. Yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Okay. So we can. Thank you. Take, we can have an appointment. Yeah? We can arrange an appointment. I really, I sincerely hope the situation will be uh, better. Yeah. Uh, yes. Perhaps for him. To talk directly. Okay. Bye. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Good. So you came yeah. up with a. Somehow I finished. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> So, okay. yeah, so we didn't have an actual solution right now, but you are going to work on it later in person. So that's, yeah, that's, that's the next step in this problem solving. Um, okay, so a few things. Uh, you can make sure when you're saying that I, I'm, you said I'm teacher and are you father, make sure you put I am a teacher. Are you the father or are you Vincenzo Jr.'s father? Uh, Yuki, also when you said... Uh, if you're asking him, do you have time for me? He said, can you share some time for me? Mm -hmm. Best way to say that is, do you have time to talk to me? Do you have a minute? Yeah, yeah, you can also say that. Do you have a minute? Or ten minutes. Okay. Yeah, or do you have a few minutes? Those are ways to say that, to ask, can I talk to you right In now? In this situation, share is not used. No, no. If you're sharing time with someone, it's like you are spending time with them uh, wow. together. Like maybe you're sharing sharing some time with your family. But when you're just talking to somebody you don't know on the phone, just say, "Do you have time to talk to me for a after few minutes?" After conversation, uh, we can say, uh, "Thank you for the sharing time." For us. Uh, no, with just us. just no? say thank you for your time. With us. Yeah. No, yeah. You don't have to use no? the word. Sharing. Just say thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, also, Yuki, uh, the term is to tell the truth, not to say the truth. <laughs> we always tell the truth. No, tell and say. I mean, that means the same thing. But the way that we say that expression yes. is yes. to tell the truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to ask your help. Um, add the word for in there. I'd like to Please ask do me for a your paper. help. Yeah, or could you please do me a favor? That's always that's also good. Um, and then, oh, same thing. Another one of those. Do you have time? Things. Um, you also said, can you have a time? But make sure you say, do you have time? Or can can we have some time to talk together instead of have a time? Can we have some time to talk? Mm -hmm. um, and then you're talking about the student is having trouble concentrating. You said concentrate to the lecture, but when you are concentrating, you are concentrating on something. That's the preposition. You always concentrate or focus on a, a thing. Concentrate on the lecture, concentrate on the class, always on instead of of. And um, when you say, when you were setting up your meeting to talk about the problem, um, you can say, we can have a meeting to talk about this problem. But when you are talking about, if you're using the word discuss, you don't use about. You just say discuss the problem. So talk about the problem or discuss the problem, but not both. That is the loudest phone in the world. OK, there we go. OK. Oh, no, he's on the phone. I had to add a couple things for Vincenzo. Um, yeah, well, the, maybe he'll come back. But uh, one thing Vincenzo said that will be useful for everybody, so he said, together we can find a solution to this fact. 
but you don't make you don't find a solution to a fact. You find a solution to a problem. So uh, together we can find a solution to this problem. And um, also, if you're saying that you can't do anything, make sure you say can't do anything instead of can't do nothing. I don't know how long Vincenzo will be on the phone, so we will go on. And give you. Oh, okay. you're back. Okay. Okay, just a couple things for you, Vincenzo. Make sure you say, I can't do anything, instead of, I can't do nothing. So don't have a double negative. And then, Vincenzo, also, together we can find a solution to this fact. Um, when you're finding a solution, it is for a problem. So instead, together we can find a solution to this problem, instead of fact. So we will um, we'll go on so that everybody I can get a think, I'm sorry, I think uh, Barbering chat on is not working. It's not working? Okay. What you typed is uh, lost, maybe. Okay, maybe. That's weird. I, okay, let me try again. I recommend you use uh, Google chat. Yeah. I hear your keyboard, keyboard uh, sound, yeah. but uh, okay. I, I don't see the uh, text in the Barbering chat. Okay, so everybody switch to Google, Google chat. Okay. Okay. Next, let's look at the next situation. Okay, so next situation, uh, role play A, we have a nurse and a businessman. Um, Donato, please read the description for person A. Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. You, you are a nurse. You have a patient with a concussion um, he had a car accident who has just come in. He looks very disoriented. You need to run some tests, but when you come up to him, he tells you that... <laughs> and Michael Reed, person B's description? You are a businessman. Today is a big day. You have to give a presentation. This presentation is very important for your career. So you cannot miss it. You suddenly realize that you are in the hospital. Your presentation is in two hours. You see a nurse walking towards you. Persuade her him to let you leave the hospital. Start with excuse me. Okay, so we have a guy with a concussion. What happens when you have a concussion? You don't remember? Yeah, so you, like you hit your head and then you kind of you can sometimes forget what happened, that if you can be disoriented, if you're disoriented, you are kind of unaware of your surroundings. Like you, you might know, oh, I'm in a hospital, but I don't know how to walk in a straight line. You can be really confused that way. Um, and then if you're the nurse, you really need to, to help him. You need to do some tests on him to make sure he's okay, because if you hit your head, that can cause a lot of problems. Um, and then if you are the person with the concussion, the businessman, you have a concussion, you forget what happened, and then you suddenly remember you have a very important presentation, so you do not want to stay in the hospital. You need to go. Your career depends on it. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'd like a volunteer to be person A, the nurse. Can be a man or a woman. Okay. <laughs> okay, Carmen. I'll be the nurse. <laughs> okay, Carmen, and I need someone to be the disoriented businessman. I could be if you want. Okay, Donato, you are the disoriented businessman. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm starting first. Okay. Yes. So yeah, you you start and you say excuse me, and then excuse tell me. the nurse what you want. Okay. Excuse me, nurse. Okay. Can I help you? Oh yes. Um. Um. I don't understand why I'm uh, in this place, actually. Okay, I'm just going to tell you, just try to, to explain to you what has happened to you. You had a, a car accident, and um, and I think um, uh, perhaps you just got just you've got some kind of a memory loss or whatever so I've got to ask you some questions because I don't, I want just to make sure that you are not feeling disoriented because you had a you hit your your head in this car accident, mm. so I was just wondering if uh, if you are okay. So can I just ask you some questions just to feel uh, more confident about this situation now? 
Mm. When did it happen? Well, you just uh, been brought to the hospital about 20 minutes ago, and uh, you had the car accident. Do you remember? Do you remember what happened? Mm, not actually. And what's uh, what day of the week uh, is today? <laughs> Today's Monday. It's um, 11 in the morning. So Did you Monday. Yeah, Monday. Yes, it is Monday. Oh my today. gosh, I have an important meeting today. I have to leave the hospital. No, no, you cannot. You cannot leave right now. <laughs> I've got to make sure you are okay. We got, in fact, we've got to get um, some tests, um, some that tests from you, just to make sure that everything is okay. Because the the accident was it was quite huge, you know. So uh, you've got to stay in the hospital, and we want to make sure that everything is fine with you. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the test. I have to to go to this important meeting. Uh, it's it's like the most important thing in my life uh, um, in the last five years. So I worked um, this last year in order to to f just for this meeting. So I can't stay here in order uh, for uh, I don't know for this funny test that you are talking about. Mm -hmm. I I strongly recommend that you don't leave the hospital because you, um, in fact, you blacked out for uh, for a few minutes. So um, I I would recommend you to stay in here just just to wait until we've got all the tests done and then you can leave for for the presentation. But I I would I would I I really uh, advise you to stay in here until we've got everything just uh, made. And how long does it takes to make all these tests? Well, we're going to just try to to do it as soon as possible. Well, we you've got to wait on la uh, at least about four or five hours here. Okay, I'm going to get dressed right now, and I strongly recommend you do not not stop me <laughs> because uh, you'll be the first to be thrown by the window. Okay. <laughs> Le you, well, you, you can see yourself, you're just uh, talking nonsense. I mean, you are not feeling well at all. I mean, you're disoriented, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm so I, I'm just going to call, <laughs> to call security because you, uh, you've got to stay in here until everything is, is, uh, is made. So just wait just a few hours and then you can go back to, to, your, to your office and just uh, have that presentation. Okay. I can... Uh uh, and show you that I'm. Uh, I feel very good, and except the fact that I don't remember anything, <laughs> I know. For sure, I know for sure that I have to go to to make this meeting. So, take care of all these good patients. For example, this man who is dying in this bed. If you can see him in the face, and uh, tell me where are my things. My effects because I have to leave. Don't I'm sure you didn't even know the way to the office. You you just uh, black out. You've got a lost memory. You've got to wait here until we've got all the tests done. So please just stay. I'm just going to try to make it as possible as soon as possible. But you've got to wait here. Oh, can you just you not to repeat always the, always the same thing? I know. I have to take this test. I don't want to do it. Can you force me? I can't force you. I'm just advising you to stay in here until everything is done. You, you don't want to, hate to you don't want to wait. Just go at your own risk. Do whatever you want to do. I cannot force you to stay in here. Okay. But you're going to regret it. I'm not going to. You'll be. you regret if I. Uh, I get in late uh, there. Okay. Do whatever you want. Okay. Just okay. leave. Thanks, Oma. <laughs> okay then. Very good. So he does not get the tests done. Uh, when you're talking about tests, if you're especially medical tests, um, you can run tests. We have to run some tests. Um, you can also do tests. We have to do some tests. But we don't say make tests. Ah, okay. make, yeah. Can you say make uh, exams? Do you call exams sometimes this time? Uh, no, we still you run and do run an exam, do an exam. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you make an exam, the only way that I can think of using make for an exam or a test is if a teacher is writing an exam for their students. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So we always run tests or do tests. But otherwise, <laughs> it was very good. You guys went went back and forth really well.
And I for didn't medical tests, uh, Andrea, for medical uh -huh. tests, you can only use run and do. Yes. No make. Okay then. Yeah, yeah we it. don't make tests. Thank you. Yeah. No, but otherwise you guys had, you guys went back and forth really well. You reacted to each other, which is really important, and you didn't. I didn't hear any big mistakes with grammar. So good job. You so. play a role very, very, very good. Yes, very interesting. <laughs> it's very, very. It was very realistic, realistic, yeah. realistic situation. Thing too. The realistic and entertaining. Uh, Naruto is really scary. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm glad I don't work for as a nurse, <laughs> and I don't have patients like Donato. Okay, I uh, have Michael and Isa are last. So we'll look at the next role play. Role play five. Michael, read person A. You are work. You work in a cubicle. Cubicle. Is, cubicle. Square, right? Yeah, it's like a little um, square, like if you work in a big office with a lot of people, but you don't have your own room for your office, uh -huh. you have a cubicle instead. It's just some a couple walls. Okay. In a small office, small office with a lot of other people, your co-worker in the cubicle next to you is very annoying. She's always making loud personal phone calls or watching YouTube with uh, the volume <laughs> turned uh, all the way up. She also always eats smelly seafood <laughs> at her desks for lunch. You are considering telling your boss about her behavior, but you decide to talk to her first. You speak first. Okay, so you are an annoyed employee. At a, so you, you are in a small office in a cubicle, so you work really close to other people. And um, in this case, we will have a male coworker, so he's always making personal calls, and he always eats smelly fish. Um, I don't know if you share if you've ever shared a microwave with a lot of people. When somebody mi microwaves fish for lunch, then it makes everything smell like fish for the rest of the day. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Smell fish. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's so not so good to. I mean, if you like to do it, that's fine, but. In my experience, it does smell very bad if somebody else keeps it. Yeah. Okay, and you want to tell your boss, but first you decide maybe you can solve the problem by talking to him, your coworker. So you are the one to speak first. You approach your coworker, and let's have um, Vincenzo read person B. So this is the annoying employee. You have been working at the same office job for the past 10 years. You are bored at, at work because you can get all your work done before lunch. And you don't have very much to do after work. Uh, so to make the time go, go by faster, you like to socialize and entertain yourself. You actually, you actually like working like this because it's pretty relaxing. You are also on a special diet and can only eat seafood and <laughs> they will be. You, your work was to talk to you sometime today. Okay, so you you work in the same office. You've been there for 10 years. You're very comfortable with your job. You don't have very many hard things or you don't have to spend very much time working. You kind of like that, though, because you are done at lunch and then you have the afternoon to just goof off is what we say, we call that. You just do things that are not work, at work, you're goofing off at work. So you like to call your friends, you like to watch funny YouTube videos. Um, you're, you're happy like that. I am bored with my work because you can get all your work done. And you can get your work done before lunch. Yeah, you're bored, so because you are bored, you you talk on the phone and watch YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You try to talk uh, on the phone, yes. No, yes. Right with someone, with someone else. Yes. Uh -huh. And then you have this special diet. Um, maybe you're trying to lose weight, or maybe you were just trying to be really healthy. <laughs> so you only eat seafood. <laughs> Why? Is he Japanese? Japanese? I, it can be whatever you want. He is Japanese. <laughs> if, you, if you want him to be Japanese, yeah. Excuse me. Uh -huh. So in the office, it's possible to eat uh, seafood. Huh? Is it possible to eat seafood at the office? 
Uh, in this office, apparently. Yes, generally. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this person, if you know, when the person A is like, you're always eating smelly food, like, well, that's all I can eat. Like, that's that's my diet. Okay, okay. Have to eat seafood all the okay, time. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Okay. Okay, um, we have Yasser in our class. Welcome. Or Yasser. Not sure how to say that. But welcome to class. Hello. Hello, hello. We are doing some role play. Uh, we have uh, we'll have this one be between Michael and Isa. Does somebody want to be the person A? <coughs> so who would be that one? Michael, you're person A. Okay. Isa, you're person B. Oh my God. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> So, Michael, you have to talk first because you are approaching your employee, your co-worker. Hey, turn down the music. Sorry? Turn down the music. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me turn this off. This what would you say? I'm saying that, that it's too loud. They have to work. So, do you walk? Did I ask you to stop walking? You... you uh, uh, <laughs> what is that, Andrea? When uh, he's like, uh, "Do not give me to work." Oh, uh, you're keeping me from working. What? You... Keeping? Keeping me from working. Yeah, you're keeping me from working. I cannot work in this loud uh, room. Okay. All right. So, uh, so this sound is disturbing. Okay, I will just. Uh, Decrease the sound and listen to it just so. Um, okay. Or, or, or you want me to move from uh, my desk, go somewhere to watch it? The, prob <laughs> the problem is that you on daily basis doing something like that, and I cannot work efficiently because of that. Could you possibly please to uh, finish these activities? Because okay. it's really annoying. Oh, all right. Okay, so um, I'm sorry. Okay, I will just put my head off, <coughs> my headphone on, and um, is it okay now? What is okay now? All right. What else? Now it's all okay. I don't hear any noise. So you okay, have to keep this kind of uh, like. Uh, um, silence uh, on a daily basis. All right, I put my headphone on right now, but it's for today. Oh, of course, maybe tomorrow I can. I can just get stuck with this headphone all the time in my ears because it's disturbing me. I can't stand it all the time. But anyway, do you have something else to say? Yeah, why are you listening every day music like? And watching because YouTube I'm videos. Boring. It's boring just sitting here without doing anything. You can see I have less work here, and most of the time I'm sitting here, and I can't walk. Oh, I can say my walk itself is less, but less than yours. But I can't leave my office. I have to stay in the office. Even my lunch, you can see I have to eat my lunch here. And I can move from here till all the day finish, so I can I can leave. Okay, if I, I want to see something. I can. <laughs> okay, as far as I understood, you like uh, do not have uh, much to do. So I um, I will organize a meeting with uh, our boss, and he will like uh, share the work between all our colleagues. Why? Why well, would you give me a walk? Not and me, now, not me. I now what? No, you don't, don't talk to the manager. You no, know? you have too much work. It's not my problem. I'm just doing my work. And if I don't have work, I can chill out. So uh, just do your work. And now I stop disturbing you. So just <laughs> do not try to give me another hat to wear. So, and... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> and also you can see now I'm I'm try I'm trying to eat my smelly fish. So don't try to <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this this is the problem. You don't have uh, much to do in your work time. So that's why we will organize like a meeting with uh, our colleagues and uh, like uh, we will see what is the the idea of this kind of uh, what is the idea? Why like uh, you don't have uh, what to do in your job time? So all will be okay. You will have enough time for everything, and to work every day, and to do not listen music. What about so the it, fish? <laughs> yeah, and about the fish, you have to go in. Uh, what is that? Uh, where coworkers sit? Uh, lounge. Lounge. Yeah. I yeah, have to go to eat in lounge because uh, he is really disturbing. Uh, you eating like it's very smelly, and um, our customers are not when they visit us. They are like uh, have a bad impression, not so good impression about our company. So you have to finish this as well. Yeah, I know that, but you know, I I do have a diet. And my diet, on my diet, I can't eat but fish or just seafood. So I can't eat something like the food that you're eating. So all my food that I'm eating is a, is a seafood, and I can't change it. And also, you know, I'm expecting a lot of calls here. I can't leave my desk because if I miss any call here, the manager will kick me out. Yeah, I understand. Uh all these uh, things about your diet, about your like uh, problems, things like that. That's why I'm saying that um, you can eat in lunch, and you can take like uh, to ride. If you cannot miss calls, you can do forwarding to your mobile phone, and you will receive calls in lunch. So that yeah. will work for you. But but I still have a problem. If you say that I have to do this, so. Uh, <coughs> I can't, I can't lay my uh, my meal when it's time comes. So this is one of the things those I have to stick with. When it comes, the time comes, I have to eat. So that's why I can leave the place and I have to eat. So what's the solution? Would you pick up the phone and answer the? No, I just said yeah. that you uh, f forwarding you. No, no. If you would the do cost. that for me, I can just walk away from you about 10 to 15 minutes, eat and then get back to you. You can see I will stop disturbing you, uh, listening or watching something, you walking and you can't concentrate on what you're doing and the smelly food, I can't eat it here. If, uh, if you you give me this 10 to 15 minutes, I can go out eat without making the place smelly. Like my plate, you can see it now in my hand, and I can go out to eat it outside right now. Would you okay. agree with that? Okay, I don't know what would be the solution, but uh, I think uh, you have to leave the company. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for you. <laughs> you can just say that you're going to talk to your superior, your boss and manager about it too. Well. No, no, no. He asking what he we can do. He said that he cannot like uh, he wants to eat uh, every 15 minutes. So I said that you, you have to leave the company. <laughs> yeah, but you're not. You're a coworker, so you can't fire somebody. So you would have to talk no, no. to your boss. No, no, no. I propose to him. I cannot. You tell, uh, oh, you suggest. I him. propose. Okay. I, this is a proposal. Okay. This is okay. not something I. Um, you're not firing him. Sure, I cannot okay. uh, do. And I do not want to fire. I'm just proposing to but, you. But I, I could just, but but I what I said, I just said when my food time come, I will only need fifteen, ten to fifteen minutes to go out, eat, and then get back. It's my lunch time. No, no, no. He asked That's me what, what he, we can do. He said that he cannot like. Uh, he wants to eat uh, every fifteen minutes. Okay. So I said, uh, Isa, you need to turn off the verbal. Yeah, but window. You're, not, you're a coworker, so you can't fire somebody. So you would have yeah, to talk no, to no, your no. boss. No, 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 I propose. Okay. All right. Well, we are out of time. So um, 
Yeah, that's that's something that you guys could continue your conversation about. <laughs> continue to argue, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, so, negotiation, um, the broke yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so that would probably be, at that point, I would probably just say, I'm going to talk to our boss about this, and then maybe the boss can help make a solution. So, good. Uh, we are out of time. I uh, Come back in a couple hours. We will be talking about performance anxiety or strange fright, and then we will also be reading advice columns. I'm very excited about it, so I hope to see you then. And if not, have a good day. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, okay thank you. have a nice day. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Goodbye.